Happy Friday to you. You know, when I was a little guy, I thought girls were weird. And then I went through a stage of life where I thought girls were actually very interesting. And then after I got married, I started thinking that women were weird again. And I found out that women sometimes think men are weird. Isn't that strange how that happens? It's almost like there's a difference between men and women. Almost like they're created male and female. You know, if that was the case and we were created male and female and we were given particular roles and responsibilities, one would think that that brokenness in addition to those differences could lead to some tension. Kathy Keller writes with her husband in this book called The Meaning of Marriage. She said, inside a real marriage, there will be conflicts rooted in gender differences that are seismic. It is not simply that the other gender is different. It's that his or her differences make no sense. And once we come up against this wall of incomprehensibility, the sin in our heart tends to respond by assigning moral significance to what is simply a deep temperamental difference. Men see women's need for interdependence as sheer dependence. And women see men's need for independence as pure ego. Husbands and wives grow distant from one another because they allow themselves to engage in a constant daily drumbeat of thoughts of inner disdain for the gender difference of their spouse. But Jesus gives both a pattern and a power to change all of this. Now Sunday we're going to be back in Ephesians chapter 5. And there it talks about this difference between men and women, this difference between husbands and wives. But their differences can actually be complementarian when surrendered to the person and work and plan of Jesus Christ for marriage. We're going to talk about that. I hope you'll show up. This was Fair Warning. God bless you.